No matter what stage of life we're in, we're either running to something, running away from something, or running around something, but we're always running for our lives. Hey, lifers, it's me, Stay Hall, and today I am going to be coming to you with some content that is completely different from anything that I've done. Um, I made a decision to not talk about natural hair, uh, marathon training, the keto diet, running for your life, any of that today. I felt like there is just too much going on in this country today for me to be self-indulgent enough, for lack of a better phrase to come on here and be talking about my hair and my marathon training. Um, similar to how I felt um, when the hurricanes, you know, first started rushing in. It's just like sometimes it's okay to veer off script. You don't always have to, you know, stay on subject. Um, life happens and every once in a while you need to take a detour, take a different route. Something else um, takes precedence over what you initially planned. So with that being said, um, I'm sure that there is not a person out there in YouTube land, in Facebook world, or in all of the social media atmosphere that is not aware of what is going on in the United States today um, concerning the protest and the NFL and the taking a knee and uh, 45 Donald Trump. Um, that whole thing and so me being a firm believer in being authentic and completely transparent I feel that it is my obligation um, not that I'm some big superstar or celebrity but since I take it upon myself to come on social media and talk to you guys and ask you to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page, that I owe it to you guys to uh, not only have you do that just because I asked you to or because I talk about some subjects that you might be interested in, but also because you like me as a person and you know what I stand for and you can trust the things that I say. And if you don't know anything about me and if I keep my mouth shut when there are things of this magnitude going on, I feel like that is selfish and irresponsible of me. So that's the reason why I decided to make this video today. Um, I may lose some followers, I may lose some fans, I may even lose some friends, but I just feel it necessary to do. I'm not someone who believes in keeping your mouth shut just to stay safe. And um, I have had people in my personal life on both sides who are like, yeah, you need to say something. And there's people like, girl, you need to shut up because you ain't even made it like that on social media and now people are going to hate you. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I just believe in standing up for what's right. So I'm sure you guys probably gather from that tidbit that I am 100% in favor of the protest. Um, they're much needed. Um, the statement needs to be made. And that's actually what our country stands for. We have a right to protest. They are peaceful protests. Um, no one is being hurt by these protests. They are meant simply to bring awareness to a major problem of injustice and inequality that we have in our country. And how anyone who calls themselves an American or even a human being for that matter could have a problem with that is beyond me. Um, there are other things being done. People are being called out of their names and not in protest. People are being slandered and not in the name of protest. But someone taking a knee is like, oh my gosh, that's so disrespectful. When really, that's what I thought our country stood for. We have the right to voice our opinions. Um, 
Something else that I've been thinking about, which I'm sure I'll probably feel some heat on this, but let me just preface it with, in no way am I trying to be disrespectful. I'm just stating facts and I kind of like to bring things out that maybe other people hadn't thought of, but we're talking about disrespecting a flag, which is an inanimate object that only has meaning based on what human beings give it. And if we as a country are not living up to what that flag is supposed to mean, then how are we disrespecting it by protesting that? The protest is actually, in my opinion, showing more respect towards the flag. Because if you stand there and salute the flag and say that Pledge of Allegiance, but you're not living up to the words in that pledge, that's disrespectful. Our military, I have a son in the military, so there is no way I would ever do anything to be disrespectful towards the military. My father is a Vietnam veteran. I have plenty of uncles, cousins who have fought. No way, shape, or form would I ever disrespect the military. However, on the same note is about the flag. If you are in agreement with people doing things that are totally against what the military fights so hard to support, then doesn't that make you the one who is disrespecting the military? And I truly believe that's why we have so many military veterans and current military people taking a knee because they are out there risking their lives. Many have given their lives for people to be treated equally, for there to be justice, for people to have their freedoms. And that's not what's happening in our country today. People are treated unjustly every single day simply because the color of their skin. And that's not what the military is about. So to me, when you are okay with the injustices in this world, then you are the one who is disrespecting the military. Um, I also find it odd that only when people decide to take a knee and protest against injustice, protest against racism, protest against unfair treatment, it's all of a sudden a big deal for everyone to be standing for the national anthem. When I, in fact, myself have witnessed on several occasions going to plenty of sporting events and other events where the national anthem is played, where you have a ton of people waiting in the beer and concession lines during the national anthem, not with their hand over their heart, paying no attention at all because it is more important for them to have their snacks and their beer when the game starts than to be present for the national anthem. And I've never seen the outrage behind that. And I'm not judging. I mean, it is what it is. I don't think people are being disrespectful. They just don't think about it. But rather than to look at this as a platform, um, a way to express, I mean, because when are these people supposed to show the world what they stand for, what they believe in, what they are trying to fight for? If they take a knee in their living room, no one's going to see it. So I feel that these men on the football fields and the basketball courts or wherever else that are bold enough to do it at that time are being responsible and utilizing the platform that they've been given to be in front of millions to show because you can't make a change at home. And so I believe that they are being responsible and saying, I'm not going to worry about whether or not my popularity goes down. I'm not going to worry about whether or not I lose endorsements because people are more important to me than the money and the things. And I feel like it is completely appalling that the leader of our country would choose to use profanity against these men and call for them to lose their jobs because they are doing exactly what our country is supposed to stand for. And the craziest thing about it is the term that he used um, against them wasn't even really talking about them. He talked about their mamas 
And for all he knows, their mamas might be supporters of him. I mean, that whole thing is just funny. I mean, when people use that term, and not funny, ha-ha, but funny, peculiar. Um, I, a lot of times, I don't even think that people um, think about what that term SOB means. I mean, you're really talking about the person's mother. But anyway, and that's just so immature and so un-American. Um, and so to me, that type of behavior is much more disrespectful to our country, to our flag, to our military, to our national anthem than a peaceful protest of taking a knee. And the last thing I wanted to share is, since when did taking a knee become disrespectful anyway? Um, I have sons and they all played sports and um, unfortunately there was the occasion where um, someone would get hurt. And as soon as that player was down and it was obvious that they were hurt, the entire team took a knee. And that symbolized being respectful and quiet during that time and being sometimes in prayer, meditation, whatever the case may be, until they knew that that player was okay. So that's confusing to me too. It's not like they're deciding during the national anthem to be rowdy and you know run around and act a fool. They're taking a knee. And in my opinion, that's a symbol of respect but I look at it as being broken. I want to respect the flag. I want to respect my country, but we are broken. And so I just wanted to take a couple of minutes just to kind of share that with you guys. Um, I felt it was important um, before I got on here and talked about anything else because, you know, I am a real person that lives in this country with all of you guys and my life is about more than just my hair and my running and my cooking and my eating. I'm affected by this just like everyone else and I just thought that I needed to make that known. So as always guys, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you liked it. Share it with your family and friends. Um, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. Please, no hateful ones, but you know, it is what it is. I have a thick skin, but I am really um, interested to start a dialogue, a conversation. I want to see what you guys think. What do you think that we could do as social media people, YouTubers, to help this situation? So drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Also, make sure you look me up on other st social media at Stay Hall and make sure that you continue to share, like, subscribe, and comment. So until next time, lifers, bye-bye. Well, that's it for now, lifers. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all social media, at Stay Hall. Bye-bye.